Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. From today, I am going to start Tableau Advanced Crash Course. In this, our first topic is Groups in Tableau. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting video. So without any further delay, let's get started. So what is group? So group is used to combine related members in field. It is represented by this clip symbol as you can see here. Let's take an example. Suppose we have a state in our data set and we need, we want to convert them into regions. So what we can do is we can create a group for east, west, north and south and use them as a group. Okay. So let's see how we can use group in our tableau. So for this tutorial, I'm using sample superstore data set. So we can apply group to dimension as well as to measure to create a group. Just right click on any field, go to create and create group. Okay. So when you click on group, a pop-up window will came and here you can create a group. Okay. So this is field name. Here you can mention the name of your group and these are the values that are present in the subcategory field and this is group so when you click on it it will create a group for you and this is include others if include others is like if we have created a group and we have some value that we want we for this we don't want to create a group so we can include all these value in others okay so let's create a group so i'm creating group that start with letter a letter b letter c okay and so on so i've selected values that start with a so there are two ways to create a group first one is right click on it and click on group you can name this value start with a second one is select the values and click on group start with b Let's select third one as well. Group start with C. Group start with F. Okay. Start with P. Start with S. So we have created groups and we have some values like first minimize this envelope machines, labels, and tables. So for this, you can just click on include others so all this value will be included in others okay what if you don't want fastener into f and you want to add it into different groups so you can for this you can just go to add to and select let me select just for a and you can see this fastener is added into a okay and if you want to add this group into group a so you can just click on a so you can see all these values are added into a okay so this is how you can create a group and if we want to delete a group you can just click on any group and ungroup okay so you can see all these values are ungrouped now and comes under others okay so this is how you create a group and just click on it so when you click on it a group is created in our data set and this is represented by this clip symbol okay so there are multiple ways to create a group first one is that i showed you first this one is and for this you can drag the sales this is method one 
second one is let's drag subcategory and sales oh, so for second one is you can just select these values go to this clip option and you can see a group is created okay uh, or either you can just select these values right click on it and group okay so you can see a group is created for these values okay this method second let's see method or let's drag again subcategory and sales now rotate the bars for a better view so now select these bars you can select as many as bar you can i have selected these four bars and same you can click on this clip symbol or you can right click on it and go for group okay as you can see a group is created here as you can see group number two and all these values are included in group which is represented by this color and others values are represented by different color okay uh, this is a use case of group as well so you can use group to add a color in the view okay so what are the use case of group so this is the first use case second one is correct your data or combine dimension numbers by grouping your data let's discuss this with an example suppose we have states with sales and here we have british columbia and district of columbia so as a user i don't want to see this data into two different rows i want to see the combined data for columbia so for this we can create a group for this by combining this british columbia and district of columbia and create a one group that is columbia and show the data okay so how we can do it just right click on state go to create group and find okay you can search columbia so so we, we found there are two british columbia and district of columbia just right click on it and group rename this and the rename columbia okay and just click on okay so remove this state and drag our group so here we can see now we have a group for this okay which shows the data for british columbia and district of columbia so this is how you can use group to correct your data errors okay thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos